Alrighty, I'll give this a shot. I hope this works, especially due to the fact that I'm uh, super duper hungry and uh, I've only been fueled on mostly coffee, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I wanted to go over, I guess, a few things like uh, I, I, what I guess I would call um, a stacking shorthand uh, using Alberto markers. So here we go. So here's a typical, let's say, a German uh, unit, which I'm calling a battle group. Uh, it's just a term I picked up uh, from one of the very first Tex Encounter games I played, uh, getting back into this uh, uh, from Patton's first victory. Anyways, um, so this number would just, I would just go into a book and it could be, you know, up to the stacking limits and so on and so forth of whatever. So right now all it's saying is it's number 82 and it's uh, German. Uh, other than that, there's nothing really to go with. So let's see if I can stack uh, this up and, or maybe go through all the different various um, Alberto markers and where I generally put things, it doesn't mean that's uh, where they are, they have to be all the time. I try to modify them based on sometimes how much stuff is around or whatever. So one of them, let's say, let's go right off to the bat, would probably be one of the most important ones, which is the strength points. And let's just pretend something, a number I don't see very often, or I don't know if I have ever have, would be 48. Let's just put here. And I usually put the strength points um, at the bottom uh, left. That's usually where I would uh, put them. But yet again, uh, and that's usually the numbering. So I'll just leave them on there for now, and we'll go from there and see how much I can stack up. Usually in the middle, I would put something uh, that's kind of like a time-sensitive thing. So, for example, let's say if you were entrenching, and uh, you've got you just started entrenching, and you got seven more turns to go, kind of thing. I'd pop it there, and, and uh, away we go. And then, you know, and then next turn and go to the E6, E5, whatever. And then for this, just to keep it nice and simple, yet again, I'm just using the, um, uh, a T for trench. Just keep it nice and simple. That's all I want to do. Um, other things, uh, let's say in the middle, I would usually put um, a special... Uh, if there's like a special unit, uh, um, such as an engineering unit or... Uh, or um, cavalry or artillery. I wish I could see artillery. I've never had done one yet. So I put the artillery here, let's say, or I'm using this one for cavalry. It's just uh, these things I think I got like wing dings or web dings or whatever the hell on, on Apple uh, Apple on the, on the PC. Um, so I'd put something like there. And then usually on the uh, top right, it would be um, what this unit's uh, about uh, what army it belongs to. So let's say, pr let's pretend that it's the um, the Eighth Army. So I'd put the the Eighth Army marker there. Um, what else could it? Yeah. So we've got there, 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 and then yet again, if this was an Austro-Hungarian uh, troop, and I wanted to identify if there was Germans uh, also in that unit, I'd put there. But of course, it, uh, what? Let's just put it there for fun. Or I could, for example, uh, which let's try to load this up again. I'll pop this off, um, is um, I also use this as uh, these ones uh, to uh, designate that this is an, an army HQ. So um, let's pretend that uh, the 8th Army HQ is here, right there, and then I'll have to move that up a little bit. And also I'm using this as a uh, core HQ, so let's say there's also, and I may, these may fall off, and like I said, that's why I'm like, okay, it's causing me too much grief, I'll put it somewhere else. Um, but let's just see if I can get away with it. Probably not. No, I have to cut. I would have to cut a little, whatever. No. But you get the, unless, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I can put around. And then usually in the bottom right and then in the middle I would put the supply points. And usually that, you would see that in green. So, hopefully that kind of helps you out. I don't know if, uh, like when you go around, let's, uh, you know, let's just take a quickie look and uh, see if you can, you know. So like I said, for me it's a shorthand. I don't have to like grab stacks of whatevers and, um, uh, you know, so on. Hold on here, I'm going to, because I'm going to have to move the camera. And we'll just kind of take a look at one very quickly. Let's say maybe the, oh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just, well, we'll just take a quick look at, at a few and I can maybe go go that way. Hold on, I was gonna move this thing. Which is, oh gosh, there we go. Hey, wasn't so bad this time. All right, so here, let's uh, grab the first army one here. So that's uh, 
the Austrian First Army. It's also under the command of the First uh, our, uh, First Army headquarters is here. It's uh, under the command of the First Army. You may think, okay, that's a bit redundant. Well, no, not necessarily the case. Look at what's happening with uh, the Russians and Brusilov. His Eighth Army HQ is there, but he's technically under the control now of uh, well, now it's Anatoly Rosenshield, but um, was Ruski. Um, the third army anyway so we've also got uh, here and then you can see that if you don't see strength points and it's their turn um, uh, that means there's no uh, infantry combat units that's basically what it means so here I, I don't see any so I, I know that there's none and there's no engineering unit there's no artillery there's no cavalry uh, all I know right now just quickly looking there's an army HQ and at least one core HQ and nobody has supply points um, uh, just a quickie look over here, uh, there's not a lot of, well, you can see this guy over here. That just blue thing is just telling me that um, it's made the move for this turn, I, I can't do anything with it. So that Austro-Hungarian thing is number 15, uh, under the control of the 4th Army. It does have some German troops uh, embedded with it, and the total is two, uh, two strength points. That's it. You know, so uh, what I'm trying to do is as I can go zippity dip across the, th uh, the, the thing here, I want to go as fast as humanly possible and get as much information from an operation, uh, like from that big, okay, wh what's going on here? That's it. All right. Hope you're having a good time and I hope this uh, helps a little bit when, you know, you start watching, looking at the videos going, what the world's going on? Okay. See ya.